and these comment fields, well, it turns out these can be used to track you, whether you click on them or not. And so this year, we are shutting that down. Now, if you do want to interact with one of these or one of these apps tries to access that information, you'll get this and you can decide to keep your information private. Now, next, let's talk about fingerprinting. You know, data companies are clever and relentless. And in addition to cookies, they use another method called fingerprinting. And here's how it works. Just like you can be identified by a fingerprint, it turns out that when you browse the web, your device can be identified by a unique set of characteristics, like its configuration, its fonts that you have installed, and the plugins that you might have on the device. And these data companies can use this set of characteristics to construct a unique fingerprint to track your device from site to site. With Mojave, we're making it much harder for trackers to create a unique fingerprint. We're presenting web pages with only a simplified system configuration. We show them only built-in fonts. And legacy plugins are no longer supported, so those can't contribute to a fingerprint. And as a result, your Mac will look more like everyone else's Mac, and it will be dramatically more difficult for data companies to uniquely identify your device and track you. <laughs> Screen time empowers you with both insight and control over how you spend your time. And it starts with reports. Every week, you get a weekly activity summary that details how you used your iPhone or iPad. You tap in and you get to view your full activity report. It's really detailed. You get deep insight on how much time you're spending, where you're spending it, and even how your use breaks down during the day uh, or the night. You get a summary of the time you're spending in apps, how much time you're spending, how often per hour you're picking up your phone and what's drawing you in, and what apps are sending you the most notifications. Now, equipped with this insight, you can make decisions about how much time you want to spend with your device each day. But we know there are people who would like a little extra help in managing their use of apps. And for them, we've created app limits. So if in your activity report, you see an app where you might want to be spending a little bit less time, well, you can set your own limit. And then during the day, when you're using the app, you'll receive a helpful notification letting you know time is almost up. 